Okay guys, here we are in the F-15C. This is going to be a quick tutorial for my guys in the 90th training squadron. Just going over the traffic pattern, uh, some of the different aspects of the local tower traffic pattern, and how to obtain your pattern altitude. So first things first, let's figure out our pattern altitude, which is the altitude that we're going to be flying in the traffic pattern in towers airspace. Uh, we need to find our airfield elevation or uh, airfield diagram for Nellis Air Force Base. Right now we're on Nellis, holding short runway three left, and this is the number we're looking for right here, 1869, which is your field, field elevation. You're going to have a lot of different field elevation uh, uh, points across the airfield, but you're looking for the one in the box, which is 1869. We're going to round up to our nearest 500. So 500,000, 1,500, 2,000, et cetera, et cetera. So in this case, uh, we're rounding up to 2,000, and then we're going to add 1,500 feet to that. So add 1,500 to 2,000, and we have 3,500, and that's our pattern altitude around Nellis Air Force Base. So with that said, let's go ahead and take off. This is a uh, mission that I've set up. It's not on a uh, server or anything like that. So I'm the only one in or flying in this particular mission. Uh, with that said, since we know we're departing runway 03, our reciprocal heading when we're in the downwind should be 210. But with that said, the magnetic tape on the F-15C is a little off. So we're going to make an adjustment to about a two rolling now we're going to make an adjustment to about a 225 and that should set us up pretty good in the uh, traffic pattern all right there's 140. we are airborne gear up all right we don't need to be super fast so this is called the upwind i'm going to make a left turn to what's called all right we're getting really fast making a left turn to what's called the crosswind. So this is the crosswind. Uh, when we're doing closed traffic, this is the specific name of the, uh, the area uh, that we're doing the closed traffic pattern. And we're just bleeding off airspeed. The throttle is not coming forward at all. And I'm looking at my altitude. Again, I'm going to 3.5. So I'm about, 100, about 20 feet from it or less 100 feet. So there's 3.5 and I want to roll out overshot a little bit on about a 225. This is the downwind. About 3,500 really fast. But as you can see, it's just a little bit to the right. As you can see, we're pretty much parallel with the active runway. All right, so with that said, let's go ahead. Uh, we're beneath 300 knot. Let's bring our landing gear down. So at this point in the downwind, all I'm doing is looking at the approach end of the runway and trying to intercept. I'm, I'm going to turn what's called base once I intercept a 45 degree angle from the approach end of the runway. And I actually get them mixed up a little bit sometimes. So now the speed's about 230. And right there's about 45 degrees. I'm pushing the nose two and a half degrees nose down. I'm increasing the power because now that I'm turning, if I want to maintain my speed, uh, since I'm turning, I'm going to have to increase my power because I'm increasing the drag on the aircraft. And I'm just looking at the approach in the runway and just trying to get everything lined up so that I don't overshoot or undershoot. I let my nose get away from me a little bit. This is called base. And once we get lined up with the runway, which we are about now, this would be called final. So we're on about a mile and a half to two mile final. And all I'm doing now is trying to get the aircraft lined up perfectly with where I want to land. I don't want to get any further than perhaps a two and a half to five degrees nose down attitude at this point. And I'm reducing airspeed. My, just brought up my speed brake. 
Um, the aircraft is heavy, so at this weight, I want to land at about 200 knots. All right, so this is final. Let's go ahead and bring our landing gear up. Air brake down, and we're on the on the go over runway three left. Landing gear is up, confirmed. We'll do this one more time just to kind of have everything sink in. Okay, we're upwind. We're making a left turn to the crosswind. This is called crosswind. Climbing to 3,500. We want to roll out on about a 225 on the heading. We don't want our speed to get back too much. But again, Let's get that altitude up. Okay, there's our heading that we want. Let's get our altitude, and as you can see, we're walking right down the runway at this point. Let's bring our gear down. We're in the down one. We're low, so we're making an adjustment. Here we are, 3,500 feet. Landing gear is down. We've double checked. We're going straight down the runway. Altitude got away from us a little bit, so let's make some adjustments. Bring in the throttle back. And again, just waiting to intercept the 45 degree angle off the approach in a three left. And I'm looking specifically at the underrun as opposed to the pavement. So I'm looking at the, uh, the dark gray area. That's my 45 degrees. So here, if we had a tower controller, I would call it base. I'm noticing airspeed's a little bit higher than I'd like it, but that's okay. I'm 100% good with this airspeed and we are base to final. Nose is coming around pretty good. Let's bring it a little, let's make it bring it a little tighter. So we can roll out right on final. This is more of a uh, this is more of an art as opposed to uh, a science. And as you can see, the sun is blocking out. I'm reducing my sun's kind of blocking out my speed a little high. Just brought out my speed brake. And now I'm just trying to get lined up on final. Uh, again, this is final. We just got done with the base turn when we're up at when we're uh, in the down one. We want to be at our pattern altitude. But once we turn base, we're continuously descending. And what we can do is, if this, this if you feel like the approach is a little bit too steep, what you can do is descend, and then adjust your attitude like I'm doing. Double checking my landing gear is down. All right, off the power. Oh, beautiful. I mean, that's what you want to hear. So that's a couple of trips around the traffic pattern for you guys. In conclusion, we've gone over how to determine your pattern altitude. We've gone over the various points in the traffic pattern. Uh, we're not going to go over the overhead or anything like that today, but I hope this helps you guys. I hope this uh, assist you on your journey to becoming wingman and becoming a better aviator appreciate you sticking around and i will check you guys out for the next one